I'm Sarah Mahan. I'm an Alexander Technique teacher, and I've had a lot of questions lately about how to get a baby out of a crib. Uh, because the cribs that we have in our day and age, they're very low, they're a bit of a challenge. Um, but we're going to work with a challenge today. So we're going to talk about a couple of body awareness tools we're going to work with, and we're going to use our hinge, we're going to use our base, and we're going to use our arms about using our arms. So one thing you might already be familiar with, okay, is people say, oh, don't bend from the mid back. So you might be at your changing table, right? And you want to resist the urge, right, to drop your whole neck and upper back to the baby. So as much as you can practice that during your day, um, whether you're feeding your baby in a high chair, putting them in a stroller, um, putting them on the changing table, right, the more you can practice, right, this sense of, oh, I just tip, right? And I hinge from the hips, not from the middle of my back. I reach something by moving my torso to it, right? Not dropping and drooping. Um, that is only going to strengthen. Um, another challenge that I see, of course, right? Now we have to put it into practice. This is a little harder, right? So we're going to make our base a little bit more supported, okay? by using this step stool. So now I can get more up and over the crib. So I want you to think in your mind with an imaginary arrow, up and over, right? Rather than just straight down, all right? Because that's gonna help you get your baby. Um, another thing um, people ask is, okay, well, am I lifting the baby? Am I using my, lifting my, with my arm muscles? Or what muscles am I using? Well, yes, of course, you're using your arm muscles, um, but you're really using your whole body because your whole body is connected. Um, so your arms, they connect to your back, big muscles in your back, um, and those will support you. So it's a visualization, but a vis visualization can change how we move, all right? So when you're putting your hand on your baby's back, all right, you can imagine your back, all right? your arm connects to your back being supported. Um, another way we take the weight of the baby, we pick it up, something I see a lot, I'm gonna move this, doing my hinge, yes. All right, is um, we don't wanna drop the baby, but sometimes that makes us tense up. All right, and what I see is often a lifting of the shoulders, the traps, and then a lifting of the heels off of the floor. So now you've made your base less stable. So you really need to continue utilizing that squat and I'm really thinking of my heels on the ground to support me rather than, right, lifting. So that's a lot to think about. Um, I know especially if you're picking up a crying baby, um, but sometimes just really just one tool at a time. Like sometimes I'm picking up my little one, all right, and I just think heels on the ground, heels on the ground, heels on the ground, heels on the ground, all right? And it's just a little mantra but it helps me feel a little bit more um, supported and um, not just use better body mechanics, um, but really just not get ahead of myself um, in the day-to-day -day routine and really just think moment by moment by moment, um, letting myself be a little bit more present with my little one, um, which is what I wish for you. Um, anyway, I hope you uh, enjoyed these tips. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.